Thank you, Grant. Uh, just an introduction. I'm uh, West Stevens. I'm with the Solar Power Network. We do commercial rooftop projects. Uh, have some contracts and a lot of applications. Uh, before this, uh, I was in consultant for a long time uh, and was actually involved in uh, helping the OPA to start this program in a small way. Uh, I helped write a white paper that had, that uh, gave the OPA some information that he used to set the prices. And prices have, um, well, costs. Costs have uh, changed a lot since then. So my, uh, what I'm going to talk about, uh, Graham, Graham talked about uh, this, uh, this, this proposal we, that we're putting together. I'm going to talk about more about the principles behind the proposal. Because in some ways, the details of the proposal matter less than getting the principles right and implementing something that, that fits those principles. And the first, first principle is that prices need to come down. And it was a great, uh, Graham and Jacob and I went to see the Deputy Minister, uh, Freda Me about this, and one of the first things he said was that prices have to come down, and he said it kind of defensively, which surprised me, because of course prices have to come down. Uh, costs have come down quite a lot. Globally, as you know, sell prices have uh, been on a tra trajectory downwards, um, as well uh, as well the, the, you know, the cells, panels, and so on. We've gotten better at our jobs. We're better at installing. We're, uh, we're better uh, in every aspect of this. Um, but it's not just because our current costs have, have come down. It's also about the future. Why are we doing this? We're doing this because we believe solar is going to be an important part of the energy mix for Ontario and for the world. And we want Ontario to be a leader in that. A leader in manufacturing and a leader in installation expertise. How do we get there? We don't get there by standing still. We don't get there by keeping high prices in perpetuity, because that, that will never be competitive. We get there by being challenged by progressively lower prices. So we, uh, speaking for my company at least, we welcome a reduction in prices. It's a, cha it's, it's a challenge, it's a, it's a stretch. But it's about balance. We need a price uh, reduction that challenges us, that challenges the industry, but if it's too low, it kills the industry. So it's a question of how do you get that balance. So our, our plan is all about a path downward. A pa uh, a, we, we need to start with a significant increase. Just for the sake of the program, for the sake of uh, public support, there needs to be a headline. You know, Solar prices slashed by 20% or something like that. It needs to be a significant, some, something that's going to let people know that it's not just tweaking the edges, but a, but, but a significant change. And from there, but it, but it doesn't have to be you know, outrageous. A significant increase, and then from there, a ramp down. We have some example numbers here. They're just examples, um, though, the, though the, our final numbers probably won't would be too different. Uh, in the commercial rooftop uh, area, which is uh, my specialty, uh, aiming to you know, something like 60 cents, moving down progressively to 20 cents. Um, so that we can, so, so that by, uh, by the end of it, uh, we can compete with coal, nuclear, wind, anything. That's our goal. We, we won't need uh, government support forever. Along with a price reductions, there needs to be some kind of volume limits. The uh, FIP 1.0 had no limits. Um, combined with uh, high prices, that had some, uh, that was a bit hard to take. So we need, we need to, uh, need some kind of limits on, on volume. Not what's in the long-term energy plan, because that's, that, that leaves, that leaves us with almost nothing. Uh, you, you, need a, you need a sustainable industry. Uh, for, for that, you need sustainable prices on a ramp down, and you need enough volume to, uh, uh, for us to work with. The point of the program is, for, at least from the government's perspective, a lot of it is about job creation. And if you have a limited volume, and you want to create the most jobs from it, 
then you need to focus on the smaller projects because that's really where where uh, disproportionate amount of job creation is. Uh, we've suggested something like a 45, 45, 10 split. Uh, most jobs per kilowatt are in the microfit, but it's hard to get the kind of volume that will support the industry there. Uh, that, that's the reason for, uh, for that split, and we're, uh, we're, we welcome feedback on that. Very quickly. A um, couple of other things we want to talk about in connection with prices. One is uh, the price of connections. We would like a built-in incentive to connect uh, for, for LDCs to connect our projects quickly. Uh, we have a particular pro suggestion here, something like a couple of, uh, you know, uh, if they connect quickly, that uh, they get a payment from the project. If they connect slowly, then they pay the project to compensate us. For, for the delay, we're not sure about the exact details, but something like that. Uh, another suggestion, one of the features of the, of the existing program is it's one price for 10, for 10 kilowatts, and it's a much lower price for 10.1 kilowatts. We think that's silly. So our, uh, our suggestion is actually to have progressive prices. If you have a 20 kilowatt system, then the first 10 would be a uh, one price in the next, and uh, the first half would be at one, one price, and the next half would be the other. If you have a 100 kilowatt system, the first 10% would be at one price, and the next 90% would be another. So you don't have this, you know, we had, I used to do graphs that kind of look like that. It should be more like that. A, a more gradual price. And uh, you were, uh, an idea we're putting forward. Uh, this is another example. Another suggestion is to have uh, connection costs actually not the responsibility of the developer, but the responsibility of an infrastructure fund. Um, the cost to the OPA, to the cost to the province is, is about the same, but um, there's a uh, the the, uh, the published price is, is lower, and uh, there's presumably an incentive to uh, everyone involved to particularly the LDCs, to get things done quickly. And so, quick summary. Uh, ramp down. Uh, uh, prices, go, uh, prices starting here and heading down. Uh, defined volumes. Uh, minimum con uh, connection times with incentives for moving quickly. Uh, and a, a, me a mechanism for implementing this. And that's about all I have to say unless Graham wants to add anything.